make peace with your period, okay? <laughs> beautiful people it's your girl shy vivia and welcome back to my channel if you have not done so just yet make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well all right y'all without any further ado let's get straight into this video um today in this video i'm gonna be talking about honeypot okay the honeypot okay let's talk about a little bit of feminine hygiene today now i am so grateful to have stumbled upon um honeypot as a matter of fact you know what let me go grab something let me say this i may end up sharing some tmi or something so if you're not into you know feminine hygiene or you don't want to you know this type of video is not your thing you can move on to the next video. All right, now Honey Pot, uh, they have different uh, products, like from uh, washes, feminine washes, to pads, liners, uh, stuff like that, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna be talking about the Honey Pot pad that um, I like. This one is the um, herbal infused pad. Now, this is all natural, all plant based. As you can see here, it has mint, lavender, and aloe. Now, let me tell you the mint, honey, you can actually feel the mint. It is actually soothing. On the pack, I think it says soothing, or in one of their, their um, packaging, it says soothing or soothe. And I'm telling you, it actually really soothes. It feels really different from the other like bigger brands. Let me say this first things first. Uh, this video is by no means a sponsored video. Um, the opinions are all solely, you know, my own. So I'm just, um, you know, stating my experience with using the Honey Pot pad and how it makes me feel um so anyway um it does definitely give a soothing feel the lavender you can actually it is definitely calming um and the mint as well you can actually feel the mint it's very like soothing it's it's really crazy um i love 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 this it's not like the bigger um brands out there like you know the always and all of those other brands this um it actually doesn't feel like you're wearing a pad for some reason and it actually smells really good now this is going to be just a quick review i just had to jump on here to share um the honey pot um you know my experience with it and of course i had to try it out because it is a black owned business and i've heard so much uh good things good reviews on it and the fact that it is plant-based i had to try it because you know i'm all for like natural herbal um products i prefer to use products that are all plant-based um no animal testing and nothing like that and has herbs and all of that in it so that's one of the reasons why i decided to give this product a try and i'm really happy that i did and i'm actually going to uh stick with this um other than the other bigger um companies you know because if you do your research those pads aren't really meant for us it's actually meant to uh cause other issues you know um so it's just do your research and you will find that a lot of these pads have all these chemicals you know chlorine dyes fragrances and all of that that is not meant to be down there you know it's very sensitive and all that's needed or all should be um, you know penetrated down there is just you know natural um, stuff so that's one of the reasons why I love this because I mean literally it feels like nothing is down there and in addition to that this may be a little bit TMI but when I went to the bathroom like overnight with um, wearing the pad for um, a full I don't know it was maybe like eight hours or something it still smelled smelled really good okay it smelled really really good like i could smell the lavender i i didn't feel like or you know i didn't feel like i was on my cycle at all you know so if you've been wondering about this product 
wondering if you try it should try it out i say definitely try it out as well as their body wash now okay let's talk about this body wash and let's talk about feminine wash i did say that this video was not going to be a long video but let's just talk about this real quick you know a lot of times um females a lot of times we we're not aware that you know we're not supposed to be using products um in our honey pot that that's like that has like chemicals and fragrances and dyes and a lot of a lot of these body washes and stuff like that it has all those things in it right extra chemicals that is not meant um to be down there um, a lot of times you can just wash with just water um, I don't <laughs> I don't do that but um, you can wash with just water okay so when it comes to your honey pot okay you really only need natural natural ingredients natural stuff to wash down there you don't need anything crazy scented to try to make it smell all good and whatever it's gonna mess up your pH balance trust me okay all you need is just a natural feminine wash now I love this because again it is 100% it is plant-based okay um, and as you can see it helps with your pH balance so you can see this one has lavender if you can see that I don't know if you can see but anyway it has lavender has vinegar and calendula and it smells very it's very subtle um, it's a very subtle fragrance because again it doesn't have like perfumes it is cruelty free which I am 100% all for that and um, it's 100% natural so yeah I love this feminine wash and I'm gonna go over a little bit of the other ingredients that's actually in there real quick for you guys it has apple cider vinegar organic apple cider vinegar sunflower seed oil uh let's see lavender oil um what else root extract uh, some other stuff grapefruit seed you know yeah so it has some good stuff in it and um i love using this it, this um wash it's very it's a foam basically so you just spray it out it's foam like and you can wash with just clean hands and really and truly you should be washing with either just your hands clean hands of course or a separate um a separate rag or a separate washcloth than what you use on your body so i just wanted to throw that out real quick and let me tell you how you know this product is really good too every time you go online at least I know most times I go online to buy it directly from Honey Pot. They're usually out of stock, especially for the wash, and um, sometimes online as well. You'll be lucky to walk into a store like uh, maybe Walmart. You can get it at, probably at Walmart or Target, and you'll be lucky to actually find it there. Um, when I went to Target, I think they only had like three of these left. So you know the stuff is really really good so um i definitely um if you've been thinking about trying honey pot i say definitely go ahead and support again plus it's a bob so you know yeah um yeah so that's all i think i have for y'all today um let me know if you want um any more of these videos <laughs> i don't typically come on here and do these types of videos but i'm like listen let me let my sisters know about this honey pot okay if you have never heard of honey pot before i was like i gotta share this this stuff it smells so good i don't know it's like it just smells good and the fact that it doesn't have added fragrance to it it's just the all natural plant-based um herbs that's in it the mint and the lavender and the aloe oh my goodness okay so yeah i'm yeah this is a keeper and i'm definitely gonna be ordering some and to think of it the price was not bad when you compare it to these other um these other major companies that has all these different additives and stuff like that that actually cause issues to our body so yeah shout out to uh the honey pot and um that lady i don't remember what her name was but the lady that came up with this on it as well it has a little note that i love that i, I kind of thought it was funny too um funny but cute um where it says made by humans with vaginas 
for humans with vaginas so um, that was cute and then it says on here because it takes one to know one and that makes sense you know a lot of these products it's made by people who have no experience with you know what us women go through so and I'm just gonna read um, from here what it says that I was suffering I guess this was the, the owner that um, wrote that I'm assuming I was suffering with bacterial vaginosis for eight months and let me just say this um, believe it or not like at least if you do your research at least 75% of women has had um, some types of uh, some type of yeast infection or BV which is bacterial vaginosis um, at least one time in their life it's just a common thing and it's nothing to really be ashamed of because it can be caused but caused by several reasons it can be caused because you're using body washes that that are not natural that has fragrances and dyes and all of that even washcloths if your washcloth has it has like dyes and stuff like that or you're mixing your washcloth with what you use, use on your body that can cause it with wearing tight clothing for long periods of time um wearing wet clothing for long periods of time like your bathing suit and stuff like that um even sex can cause a uh, yeast infection um just different things different oh also like believe it or not like eating like a lot of like sweet stuff or carbs that you know it breaks down into sugar um bacteria it feeds on that kind of stuff so what we eat also causes um causes yeast infection as well so just be mindful of that and if you're for whatever reason um having that issue yeast infection drink lots of water apple cider vinegar is great because it helps to kill um you know certain bacteria and stuff like that so you can dilute your water with apple cider vinegar i know i'm going off on a tangent something else but I just wanted to throw that out there um, as well as uh, lime and drink that throughout the day try to drink like a whole gallon for the day um, that will definitely help so yeah but anyway back to what I was reading I was suffering from bacterial vaginosis for eight months when an ancestor came to me in a dream and gifted me with a vision to heal myself. With her help, I created the honeypot to solve for what other brands wouldn't through the power of herbs. And listen, let me tell you y'all, I believe in the power of herbs, okay? I have over maybe a dozen herbs <laughs> in my kitchen right now. Um, and I do believe in herbs. I do that they're meant for uh, holistic healing and all of that. Even a part of my business, um, I sell, you know, natural stuff. So yeah, definitely try this out and I don't think you'll regret it. But anyway, y'all, it was an absolute pleasure. Again, it's your girl, Shy Bibia. Let's get well together and I'll see you guys later. Be blessed. Bye-bye.